Hello, Handyman Lou here with Handyman's Garage. So, where's my bezel at? I don't even know what I did with it. I started out, the whole thing started out as I'm pulling this whole dashboard out of here just to get the uh, heater core out. You know, since I got the dashboard out and my, when you change the engines on this, I changed it over, took the computer brain out and changed it over to just HEI distributor, starter and uh, alternator. Uh, all this stopped working. So I pulled the bezel off. Here's that. This gauge doesn't work. This gauge don't work. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. They stopped working. Only the voltage works. So, instead, I come along, I make a template. Take the template, trace it onto something harder. This is cardboard, cut it out with scissors. Make it out of something harder. Plywood, low on wood. Gotta cut out all the notches and all the holes to fit into the back of this. Next, I'm going to be cutting the holes. One, two, three, six holes. For my gauges. Aside from your standard gauges, which is the oil, the water temperature, the gas. Well, actually, it's the, your number of temp, your, your three gauges you get under the dash. You know, the stupid gauges they sell you. It's only... Uh, voltage, temperature, and oil. Well, I bought a fuel gauge, digital. I got temperature gauge, oil gauge, boost gauge, tectometer. I forget what the other one is that's coming. The gas gauge. I guess not. It is the gas gauge. I forget what the other one is that's coming. It's six gauges. Three on this side, three on this side. And then I also got a digital speedometer which is just a little bit it's bigger than these guys these are two inches in diameter so they fit in there like so actually they, they swing around this way a little bit so now my speedometer will go here if it's five inches it'll fit inside here without a problem and there's three gauges still coming today and the speedometer coming today so I'm on the process of uh, building this part of it. Now, you're not going to be looking at the dumb wood and I'm not going to spray paint it. I'm going to put some uh, uh, contact cement on there and then put a laminate of uh, white, white laminate on here so that it looks really nice because my truck theme is white and blue. Well, I don't know if the stripes came that way or not. This is, I don't know if this is a super sport style or not. I know it has a lot, of, it had good horsepower for a little six cylinder. Uh, and has a lot of heavy duty stuff underneath it. So I figured this was a, maybe the super sport package. Anyways, uh, yeah, it was, these came with it. These were already on there. This is aftermarket, but these were on there. Anyways, uh, I'm waiting on those four gauges to show up today and I should have this all done. Oh no, I gotta go get the laminate, some kind of white. Oh yeah, the reason why I turned around here, I said the theme of the truck is white. Here's your white air conditioning uh, pods. So they're white, so the inside that dash part will be in white like, that's like you're seeing it there with the, uh, Digital gauges, everything digital inside the cluster panel. Now you're going to say, why don't you buy a whole cluster panel for your truck? That's because they don't make it. I did look for it. I went to in, uh, in electronic trucks or in trucks, whatever they're called. They don't make it. They make it for the o OSB trucks. They don't make it for an S10. They may make it for this, the old style S10, but they don't make it for this body shape S10, that, that dash shape right there. 
they don't make the digital dash. Believe me, I was ready to pay $500, $600 for one of them. They don't have it. So here, I bought individual gauges. Plus that cost me about 200 bucks in gauges. And plywood I had laying around. With a little ingenuity, little know-how, you could put it in there. This will come out so that the gauges can be inside here. There should be just enough room, yep. And if you look at that, you'll see it's just enough room. It'll be sitting out here, so it's gonna be a little more depth in the back. We'll take off everything out of this, the back here so that this is hollow. This will be hollow. Pop this off, put all the gauges in there, run all the wires through the holes here. It'll look like factory. Anybody interested in having these type of gauges for yourself? Give me a holler. You got to send me your old your dash. You know, your. All you got to do is unplug it from the top and you leave it laying there. So you slide this back in, you got to run all the wires out of it. And then, of course, you got to wire it up yourself. You know. Anyways, handyman Lou out.